Hello! This is Laura Holmgren with the Polytechnic School EdTech Instructional Screencast on Annotating with a Kindle application. This presentation provides information on how to access the tools and features of the Kindle and adjust settings for your reading comfort on different devices, how to highlight text and add notes, and how to transfer your annotations to a document. When you launch the Kindle application from your PC, Mac, or iPad, you'll see the books and documents in your Kindle account. Here's a brief overview of the items on this main screen. You will first notice the cloud and arrow icon on one or more of the books in your account. It signifies that these works have not yet been downloaded to the device you are currently using. Double-click the book cover and the download process will begin. Using the sort pull-down, you have options for organizing the view of your books on the main screen. Click on the Sync button to sync your annotations and progress through the book with another copy you may have been reading on a different device. Use the Collection tool to organize your books into categories. They work much like playlists in iTunes. First, add a collection by clicking on the plus sign and naming the collection. Then click and drag the covers to the appropriate collections. When you click on the collection name, only the books in that collection will appear on the main screen. Collections are also synced, and one book may be included in more than one collection. Click All Items to return to the full library. Now let's briefly look at the main menu pull-downs. When you've clicked once on a cover, the options in the File menu darken to let you know they are available. Most of the options in the other menus are available once you double-click to open a book. It's unlikely that you'll remember where all the options are from watching an introductory video, so I encourage you to explore the menus at your leisure. As with all applications, it's more important to develop the skill of figuring out where to look for the tools or information you need than to recall how to do a particular function in a particular application. There is one setting, though, that we want to point out, backing up your annotations to your Kindle account. From the Tools menu, click on Options. A window will open, giving you access to a number of preferences. Click on Annotations. Make sure the Annotations Backup box is checked. We also encourage students to deselect popular highlights. You'll want to read clean copies of the text so that you develop the skill of annotation, without having passages highlighted by others who have read the book before you. The feature is designed to promote a sort of social element, and it can be valuable to see what others marked. But you'll want to do this after you've finished the text. Don't deny yourself the opportunity to think for yourself first. In the next part of this tutorial, you'll learn how to adjust the appearance of the text and how to highlight and add notes. From your library, double-click on a title to open the book. If you haven't already synced your account, you can do so here. You can change the font size, page color, and words per line with this tool. Move the sliders to find the settings you prefer. When you find a passage you like to mark, click and drag the cursor over the lines. Release the mouse button and a number of options will appear. Select Highlight. If you'd like to add a note, select a word or passage and then choose Add Note. Enter your text into the box and click Save. Another handy tool to know about is the dictionary. Double-click a word and the definition will appear. Up to this point, we've been looking at the computer Kindle app. The layout and features are virtually identical on a PC and on a Mac. Let's look at the Kindle iPad app briefly. Launch the Kindle app by tapping on it. As with the computer applications, you can toggle between cover and list views. Sort with this button. The Sync button is at the bottom of the screen. The Gear Icon button gives you access to the settings. Tap on Other to double check that your device is set to back up your annotations and to turn off popular highlights. Tap a cover to open a book. To add a highlight, tap and hold the text. Use the magnifying tool to place your cursor precisely. Drag your finger or stylus over the passage and release. Then, tap and hold the highlighted text. The Option toolbar will appear. You can change the color of the highlight, add a note, or delete the highlighting. Notes may be typed into the box. 
If you are using an iPad 3 or newer, or an iPad mini, you may also speak your note by clicking on the microphone icon on the keyboard. Click Save when you're finished. Tap in the top margin of the screen to access the main controls. As in the computer versions, the book icon provides Go To and View options. Tap My Notes and Marks to see a list of your annotations. In this last section of the video, you'll learn how to transfer your annotations to a document. First, Point your browser at kindle.amazon.com. Click Your Highlights and sign in. On this page, you'll see all the highlights and notes for all of your Kindle books and documents. On a computer, place your cursor at the beginning of the text, click, and drag over the text. Right-click and copy the text to your clipboard. You can use the shortcut Ctrl-C on PCs and Command C on Macs to save time. On an iPad, tap and hold and then use the resizing handles to highlight the text. Click Copy. You're going to paste the text into a document. In this video, we're using a Google Doc, but the process is the same in any word processing program or text editor. Create a new document. Place your cursor in the document and click Edit. Then click on the Paste option. You can use Control or Command V to speed the process. Once the text is in the document, you'll want to clean it up. You could highlight and delete each bit of unwanted information, but there's a quicker way. Use the Find and Replace tool. First, highlight and copy one occurrence of the repeated information to be deleted. Then use the Edit menu, or Control or Command H, to access the tool. Paste the text into the Find field and leave the Replace field empty. Click Replace All to delete every instance of the text automatically. Repeat this process for Add a Note Text and Read Note at this location. Since the location numbers are not repeated throughout the document, you can leave them. In Word 2010 on a PC, the Find Replace tool can be found at the right side of the Home tab. Control H also works. In Word 2010 on a Mac, Use the search pull-down at the top right and click on Replace. This will open a new pane on the left side of your document. In Pages on an iPad, use the Tools menu to access Find. This will open another window. The tool does not remove every instance automatically, but it's still more efficient than highlighting and deleting each repetition individually. And that concludes this tutorial. This presentation has provided you with information on the tools and features of Kindle applications, highlighting and adding notes, and transferring your annotations to a document. Thanks for watching and happy reading!